Hey guys, Tartarp here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Vo Farmlands, and it's been a long time since I've seen this match. No, this map rather. Don't say spawning on the right, we've got Nyx Snivinio Snivinio with a... Uh, Osir, he's got German Infantry, Storm and Assault Support teaming up with his Patrick. Also with Osir going for defensive straight away. On the left we've got AZXC with the Brits who has Mobile Assault, Engineer and Vanguard. And finally, Serene Smile, also with the Brits, Commandos, Vast Replacements, and Elise. In terms, this is a Patreon back game. Uh, in terms of rankings, allies are an arranged team around run 180, and Axis are a random team, both of them about 220 with their random ranks. Slug it out with this building here. <laughs> uh, sure, Patrick was up to there. I think he missed clicks from his pioneer to go around the corner, not the uh, boss trooper. Got a flank here from the sappers. We have some boss coming up to support. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Jumped into the building briefly, but no windows on the side, so it's not. The best choice. Right we'll down the bottom. Sections have the edge right now, it looks like. Managed to do jam the capture. Not really see it isolated in a two on one. So they're going to jump into the building to help with the store. He's got a sniper coming down here, so he's just trying to buy time, capping the uh, central munitions. So as you can see, he's definitely invested a lot more into capturing this fuel. Down here, doing well against the Grenadiers. Lost Troop and slowly winning this. I think they had like a slight window edge. Of course, they had the time of the pies were system with damage as well. MG inching its way up to the top. Enemy forces are securing our territory. I say, did he not have vision because of these trees? I'm not sure. Did eventually fire the machine gun. Probably need to reload. Didn't see that. Okay, sniper. Two kills so far. Backs away from the machine gun. Big question is how is AZXC going to try and counter this? Is it going to be universal carrier AEC. Okay, it's going to be AEC. Oh boy, section dead up the top here. Ooh, looks like Serene Smile trying to get. Bit of a flank going or something and stayed in for too long. Not good. Wired this off now. Good idea. T2 coming up for Patrick, but next of Nini or a bit slower. Probably be chucking down some sandbags up here, Patrick. Sap is looking for a bit of a flank again. So they're going to go for the cut off there, not a bad idea. Should be able to get the decap before the enemy arrives. Trying to get some mines down. It might be interrupted though. Our lines of supply are disrupted. Machine gun, I'm going to try ball at close range here. Radius, oh no tick. So they still don't have a, a grenade. And they actually got suppressed in cover there, that's unusual. It looked like they were all in heavy cover. I'm surprised that happened. It's the Vickers after all, you know. Must have had a good streak of accuracy there. Sniper coming in though. Four kills now. As you can see, AC is in the build. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. 
three Tommies and a Sapper. As well as that Vickers. So I've been missing that shot. Right inside the building, getting quite a lot of damage done here, I have to say. Gonna try back out a little bit here, try to avoid getting any further snipes before the AC arrives, especially. jumps out of the building coming in trying to protect the muni point because that grenadier was so low it's actually successful now the AEC isn't tremendous against the sniper but you use something to chase it away with 222 off the top now for Patrick not particularly early face how it's a fire coming in on the top looks like Patrick's gonna try hold on to the fuel, prioritize that over like chasing and trying to bleed this very low health squad. Make sure you're not taking base out to fire shots though. <laughs> you don't miss a note. The AC from AZXC is coming to the north. So on to prioritize vehicles, chasing in here the Faust. He gets it off, but the AC able to chase down. Polish it off. No packs anywhere nearby. Maybe you could try get some chain faust action happening. That would be still quite difficult from that amount of health though, I think. Patrick not paying attention up here. Loses an Ostrupin. Okay, Sappers are heading up to the north to get some repairs. Axis with strong control over the fuel the last couple minutes. Oh, over here. I was like, where was that rifle nade from? Maybe it got cancelled. One of those ultra late rifle nade cancels, you know? Nope. And he's going to go steal that. Looks like. He could have vaulted the fence. Capping and repairing. Very efficient there from AZXC. Get in here to jam the cap. Not successful. That smoke raid from Serene Smile. So where did that smoke come from? These aren't the uh, recovery sappers, are they? It's from the smoke raid. I'm trying to nullify maybe the machine gun out the back there. Oh! That was nasty. Nix was Nix watching that position. He loses his squad. Speaking of gliders, now AZXC's got one coming in. He's got the uh, Ford Logistics glider though. And you now get some vision through the smoke. Stayed in here, maybe a tiny bit long, but it looks like it's going to be all right. Of course, Ostrupin, very bad at running gun, since they need that cover bonus. Oh, tell him mine down here. P Greens, I think I try to bait him in. Here's the sweeper. It's up here next to the uni point. You know, honestly, I think if Nyx just, like, backed around the corner with the Panzer Greens, didn't bring the Green Deers in at all, he maybe could have baited the AC around this corner and into this Talamide. Base helps of fire coming in there, machine guns packing out. Just overwhelming numbers of Green Deers here, though. Hope we win this fight. Some forward reinforce action possible for the Brit team. Quite close to the front lines, this glider I do feel is likely to die over the course of this game. Rhino's capping up down the bottom. 
which, you know, is not that desirable. I do feel like this is a little bit overpriced. Well. What it does, how easy it is to kill. You still have to pay for the forward retreat point. You still have to pay for the commandos. Drop to 150-ish, maybe. Oh, good suppression there from the Vickers, AC coming in now. Still think probably to this point the Axis have had better fuel control. Having a look at the KD, Patrick is struggling quite badly. Next, though, is actually doing quite well. Sniper has 13 kills, so I think that's uh, a large part of the reason why. Oh, Pack misses its first shot. Double packs actually for Patrick. Now capping through the middle. Axis are at a VP disadvantage to this point. That's a pretty good hold on the, I mean, yeah, on the middle. Three. Sappers, and he's making a bit of a move here with the smoke. He needs commandos when you got mass sappers. Got the bolster as well, so they are reasonably strong. It would be quite funny if he tried to like power build a couple mines here into the uh, Ostrupin's retreat path. That'd be a hell of a play. Infantry squads are ready to conduct all out assaults with air support. Try to chase down the. Machine gun and eventually getting forced away though as it sets up. I nice see a bit of smoke raid action though. I'm going for the glider kill here. You see, getting a bit of damage done. Machine gun coming in as well. A little bit slow. I think they had an opportunity to throw a bundle grenade there, but they would have been really fast on it. And now the Vickers actually a lot of damage done. The Pigman getting extremely low. Doesn't want to chase, which I think is fair enough. Could easily be those double packs lurking around in this area. Oh, they died anyway to the base howitzers. Speaking of death, though, Sappers and stay in the building for far too long. And they end up dying. Either way, though, the Allies looking pretty strong with this kind of map control. Oh! Peewins die here, too? Oh, Nix is uh, losing a lot. This was not, I thought this would be to a gammon bomb or something, but no, it's just... To the commandos. Six kills on those now for Serene Smile. It's already been weak. Some rifle nades. Stuff is coming up. Didn't quite get a shot off. And now we've got a uh, mortar pit. No. Damned enemies trying to take mortar a point from us. AZXC. Pulled that from the glider. What? Commandos get another wipe out the back. Serene smile. Wow, what a player. Kill after kill, wipe after wipe. This is tough going for the Axis all of a sudden, but they've got a flak panzer coming in. Not at an especially good timing, considering... Oh, no, he did go for the 222. I forgot about that. Died quite quickly. Tried to steal away the Vickers, but that's going to remain in AZXC's hands. Oof. Another big grenade. Here comes the flak panzer though, and the LMG Green is also doing pretty well there. An artillery barrage has been laid on. It's been small. The heavy sappers here. Things we've seen some anvil. There was a snare in there trying to slow things down a little bit. All packs pushing up. They want this guy to kill the Axis. These packs right the way, and he's like, Oh, maybe that wasn't a good idea, actually. Meanwhile, AZXC's got some brains on the commandos. They're starting to uh, do some big damage here. The 
ADC's looking to get involved. He's a little bit low. Could be rushed down by the Flak Panzer, so he's got to be careful. The glider does end up dying, as I expected. A bit late getting that mortar team out of there. That's low. We've got some squads coming into the retreat path again. Got to be careful. 23 kills now on that sniper. It's done really well to this point. Oh, here we go, commandos with the ambush. Anti-tank gun, ready to do some damage. Ooh, we reeled them a little bit late, so they didn't get the ambush bonus there. We got uncovered. A little bit chased down. Oh, hits a mine down here. <laughs> Commando's now in some trouble though, the Flak Panzer are looking for revenge. Be extremely lucky to survive this. And he is not extremely lucky. Either way, uh, big wipes there. Big plays from Serene Smile. So they're making life difficult for the double brick team. Definitely one of them should have had an AT gun around here by now. And they're paying the price for that. You know, as you get to the 15 minute mark, if you don't have any anti-tank guns at all, you're in, you're in for some trouble. You're asking for it. And you're getting it. That comes out. Had a great time here. 14 kills and... Three or so minutes it's been alive. Very impressive. He pops off the tread shot, slowing it down. AC's coming in for the kill now that the AC's full health. And it's Vet 2 as well. That kind of tries to pop the blitz. Focusing all its damage onto the infantry though. Switching over the AC now. Here's Vet 2. He's got that reload bonus. Cooldown bonus. Ends up being a very close fight, and then the packs miss the kill shot. AZXC getting rather lucky there. But you can imagine if Patrick was shooting at the AC the entire fight, instead of shooting at the infantry for so long. Probably could have kept that Flak Panzer alive there. AC's arm is not that strong. Section dead in the middle, meanwhile. Maybe we went down to the machine gun as it retreated through the area. Got a couple of caches coming in out the back as well. For Patrick. He's rebuilding the Flak Panzer. Ooh, okay. I feel like the Brit team is probably going to spit out like a church, yeah, a church or something here soon. It's exactly what Serene Smile has in the build. I will say that maybe this map is quite a wide map. Might be slightly better suited to the Comet instead, just because it's so much faster getting around the map, but you know me, I am fond of the Churchill. Oh, retreated into the grenade. Cheeky stuff there from AZXE. If he just stood still, I don't think he would have been wiped by it, but just ran back like maybe one or two range and Ended up getting wiped because of it. Speaking of wipes, another one down the bottom. These commandos just tearing the axis to shreds. Friends are chasing him away now. I think our next going for the Tiger. Only getting the battle phase up now, though. It's a little bit slow on the tech. You have to rebuild a lot of squads, I suppose. Part of the, large part of the reason the commandos die. That was a pretty bad retreat path for them. I guess all these fences made it a bit awkward. And now actually the AT gun's in a compromised position running down the road away from these green deers. That could also be turned over. Big old Bullets green blob back. chasing in after this. Getting some reinforcements from the glider, but... It's decrewed here. And this could be a squad wipe, but maybe not because the AEC is coming in hot. He's popping off the tread shot too. 
Got a few sneering news nearby though. Chuchul is hidden down here. That looks like a mix picking up the AT gun. It's under pressure from the heavy sappers though. Gets the D crew thanks to that. And the Brit tanks are rolling in thick and fast. Got the Comet from AZXC coming in. I was maybe expecting to see a Crocodile first. I thought that would maybe be the split the uh, double Brit team would go for like heavy with the uh, Enemy Croc and then point. more speeding Comets for Strange Smile with the com Commandos. You know, more speed on the croc can be quite nice later on as well. So they're trying to knock out the fuel cache. Here it goes. Here is the tiger though. Solar counter to what the allies have. He does. Uh, yeah, no AT guns at all. We're gonna recruit this with commando models, so it's pretty expensive. Yeah, there we go. Tiger finds the Churchill. Does he have the courage to chase here, though? Oh, he misses a crucial shot. Looked like he started driving just before the Tiger shot. Worst possible timing, and he's getting some rear armor hits from the front as well. Unfortunate. Could have been a uh, dead Churchill there, but we had to actually land some hits for that to happen. I think the Churchill was a three shot there, which could have been on the cards. Wow, sector artillery coming in here. It doesn't look like it's really hitting too much though, maybe stopped AZXC from pushing into the top. RE Sappers reporting in. Charges out of cover, doesn't want that flamethrower having bonus damage against him. Gonna grenade the building. Pretty good dodge on that, and the grenadiers get back in. I think there is a blind spot on this side of the building. Could have come around to this side on it, but the tiger is pretty nearby as well. Might have gone uh, poorly. Soft retreat back to the glider anyway for some reinforcing. Speaking of uh, gliders, another one did get called in by AZXC. A little bit further back this time around. Now AZXC is dropping the planes down. Just opening up the middle of the map. Three packs and they're all back at base at the moment, so nothing to stop AZX tanks from rolling through. Churchill's chasing. Tiger's mobilized though. Fully repaired. Too early on the Faust though. Finds another fuel cache, gonna try and knock that out. The planes time out because when he came through for the first attack past everything else Incoming left the area afterwards. Strip need to get in cover here if they wanted to win this. I think they'd win anyway, but we are losing a definitely sector. not going to do when they're out in the open like that. We're just about back up to full strength. Nexus tick under 300, as you heard from the announcer. Really comes down to the pack positioning of Patrick. So far, they haven't seemed to have been in the right place at the right time to counter the tanks of AZXC, but... Let's see how he gets on with them. 
was that? Why do I keep facing? Did he? Was he accidentally like targeting Barto's aircraft or whole fire or something there? I don't know why. Keep facing the wrong direction there with its gun. Okay. Did you see the tread shot? Looks like he got some AOE tread shot action though. Stunned his own comet. It's enough to kill the flak panzer nonetheless. Drops the sector artillery again, but it's just like there's almost nothing here. It seems like a wasted activation. There's quite a lot of munitions to just be thrown out there. Churchill's coming in for a bit of a flank. A bit of a base inspection, maybe. A mid bunker right here. Could be a... Interesting target. Tiger quick to rotate, but there is an AT gun backing up the Churchill and a snaring squad as well. He's dropping down the pinning loiter here. Pins these sappers so they are no longer a snaring threat. Keeping them pinned with the Tiger's machine gun as well. He's putting up a Bofors right on the Axis doorstep. Uh oh, Panther's going in. After a bad start there though. Tiger's continuing the chase. The LNG Green is trying to decrew the AT gun, crewed by the Commando models. Bofors though suppressing them hard. Here comes a panther from the other side though. Panther should be able to finish the job on the Churchill here. They decrew the AT finally. I think there's still two shots to kill though on the Churchill. It's had an awkward amount of health. Trying to disappear into the smoke. Panther taking some shots on his rear. Tiger's backing away. Decrews the AT gun again. And he does eventually get the kill on the Churchill. Green smile made that ugly though. Oh! Oh no! A during all that carnage, carnage on the other side. AZXC losing sappers and the comet. Oh, through the middle, mortar, machine gun decrew for Patrick, maybe to the commandos. Just Panther did up here too. Oh action. man, there was just way too much going on at that particular moment. Have a look at the army sizes as the dust settles. You can see maybe a 10 population leap for the Axis. There's a lot of team weapons up for grabs though, so whoever can uh, collect those. And it looks like it's largely Patrick. They're going to be the ones coming out on top. Written on the ground. I think it was the commanders that dropped that though. I don't think they died. Just dropped one model. O4 was doing a lot of work there. Almost allowed that AT gun to survive. Ready to, shoot. to polish off the Panther. Did manage to recover the AT gun though, so it's pretty good for Serene Smile. It has a lot of fuel. Gets another church on the build already. Quick to rebuild. I Third pack rebuilt now by Patrick. What happened to his third pack? Oh, he's left it over here. Still, for AZXC. How's that sniper doing? 42 kills. He slowed down a little bit, but still very impressive. No repairs coming in out the back for the Axis. No points of draining at the moment, though. We have a couple allied squads heading up to the top. He's healthy. He's heading to the bottom. It looks like he's going to go after the Bofors.
AT gun is right there guarding it and it's uh, been repaired up at this stage as well, the AT gun. And we do have the loiter for the allies if something gets sticky, so they've got some options here. Cops heading up to the top now. Capturing in the middle, but a bunker up from Patrick. Texas mm. are uh, starved for fuel, though. They our some trouble in that department, so maybe that's why Patrick's building the bunker here. Our bunker can now accommodate an MG 42. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Tiger rolling through the middle, forcing a load of retreats. He's lucky he could even get this uh, wipe on the section here. He's coming in with a bit of a flank. He sees mobilizing with the pack that's been recovered. The fresh church are here now as well. Oh, big damage on the comet there. Pack wall lining up and he gets stuck. On the capture flag, Common ends up dying. Planes coming in though, and they pound the Tiger. Huge damage from the planes, way more than you usually see. That ends up going down to the pack. Panther's in some trouble as well, but it might be fast enough to escape. Seems like it. These might not be so lucky though, the next loiter could push them off here. Is the pack wall. Yep, Grandies go down to the planes. This is the smoke trying to disappear here. Oh, so close. Good attack ground attempts there from Patrick. Good use of smoke and good defense against the tiger weak point though from Serene Smile as well. Nice sequence of action there. Oh, Panzerwerfer dead out the back. Hello? <laughs> Serene Smile is like Ford base here almost. Really causing Nick uh, a bit of trouble. Second bow force is up. Oh, there's two of them. I don't even notice this one over here. And he's ch chipping away at the uh, tier one structure now. Already killed the mid bunker that was there earlier. Probably just has to let that go down. Oh, he's got the high vet sniper actually with a long range vision. Fair enough. Churchill taking quite a long time to repair up. We've lost an anti tank gun. Does end up losing this. To that sniper. Seems like a mortar being uh, brought in to chip away at that other bow force. A second bunker up from Patrick, so he planted quite a few of them down the middle. Jumps in here to jam the decapture with the pyros as well, buying some more time. Oh, and that was a nasty Strugi shot. Okay, Strugi, you don't see those too often. Base out to fire on one bunker, the AC going after the other. That has been brought in. But the AT gun did get away. Both bofuls are still alive, by the way. Looks like this one braced through some damage. Stuggy, though, it's an interesting idea. There's a few buildings that can fire over through the middle of the map. Could be alright for holding on here, but the mortar cover. Some great damage done on the AT guns. Leaving the double strugies a little bit exposed. So they're gonna come down and help fight against the enemy are attacking in a placement. This is painted down dick. Reversing its way around. 
Brace uh, came off cooldown. Swung down that incoming damage. A lot of healing required on those AT guns. It's going to be quite slow. Both of us does eventually fall, but the AT gun pushed up here nicely. Got a few cheeky shots in. There's a Werfer after that. A T-Gun goes down. This could be the green light for the Axis now. Looks like it got completely destroyed with that Werfer attack too. Stuck's going after the Sappers. Stuck fighting against the Commandos. Comet's coming back in though. Gotta be careful. Could flank these Stuggies quite easily. The triple packs are coming out from base now. A couple of squads trying to hit to the north, but it's guarded by machine guns. So the allies are unable to set up the triple cap during all this base pin action. Finds another worth around the back here! Oh no! Such a tragedy for Nick. Trade in here. This Churchill's dressing up nicely though. Get two already. Mortal fire flying both directions. He's got two of them actually. And Patrick. What? Is he? He's still got his. Should be getting some good long range shots in from behind the building. The triple packs lining up on the comet as well. So the AC forcing away the machine guns from the top though, opening up the capture, well done. Got the planes ready to rumble for AZXC as well. Oh, oh Comet, I was going to say Comet got lucky there, but no. Didn't bounce the final shot from the other pack that was further towards the top and he gets killed. Was just luck there trying to come in at not full strength on the Comet and he paid the price. Meanwhile, a 17 pounder right next to the base the disrespect of this unreal more to cover up here now as well kind of just hiding in the craters providing some long range vision double strokes heading to the top there. Probably should upgrade the machine guns on these. They're pretty cheap. It's not like he's having much success with the sector artillery. Be very careful with his AT gun positioning though because Strooks cannot really defend themselves against other vehicles. Another Bofors here for a Serene Smile. Of barrage here. Don't see this too often after it got all those nerfs, but it still has its moments. Get this healthy again, though. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. ET gun attack rounding, trying to get through the bow force. So there's a few seconds left until the uh, cooldown's ready for the next suppressive barrage. We have a forward structure really likes attack. building these bunkers to cover the middle, does Patrick. And they do have control of that point right now. As you can see, heading to the top. Really got set back a lot with that last comet loss, though. It slowed things down tremendously in the top for the Allies. And here comes its replacement. You're holding nicely down here. Oof. That's the Panther into that 17 pounder. Sepp is trying to cap, but the machine gun covers the whole top. And that's a Shkub G, actually. 
rebuilt there. Comes in to try to push the squad out and it actually works. Go along in the circle and gets pinned. Comet's heading through the middle. Oh! Milo cheeky grenade decrease the mortar. Not before it fires one more shot though. Powder. He's got to be careful he doesn't get too far ahead. Sitting in front of the 17 pounder. <laughs> oh, and then a mortar pit back here now as well. Really dug in on the front lines. Making life extremely difficult for Nick. Bunker in the center did go down. Still got that brim mortar there as well. Double Stooks coming down to assist. Something counter could maybe spin around, and here it goes. Looking for the wipe. Trying to prevent the decap, but the 17 pound is spun. Might not have direct vision here, might need to pop the uh, piercing. Oh boy, Churchill's in some major trouble. Double Fausts hanging on by a thread. One more proc from anything will get the job done. But they don't quite get it. The smoke saving the day again. The Stug tries to back past the 17 pounder and it dies. And the Loiter's coming in hot as well. Suppressing, forcing back the tanks. That did not go well for the Axis. They aren't that far behind though, looking at populations, they're only about 10 behind. So you know, it looks quite grim for them. Especially given uh, this positioning, it's still not too bad. Oof. Popped up the flare there, allowing a couple of long range shots on the Panther. That was good thinking from Serene Smile. Emplacement under attack. Maybe Pex. Trying to kill with the commandos with the ambush. Decrease one. Sniper opening up. Still got that um, mortar going to work as well. Commandos sneaking back, looking to get back. Element of surprise. Empty crew all the way back here. Still haven't managed to cap the north. They'd have to send quite a few units up there, so the Allies just camping the middle right now. Texas are draining out down to under 130. Again, with this sniper's vision, trying to knock out the bow force, but he pops the brace and the mortar pits returning fire. Costing a lot of bleeds. One, two, next. Crewed up here as well. Okay, the Beaufort's down here finally gets knocked out. The packs of Nyx. Looking for some revenge. Serene Spell really needs another mortar cover. That would force these away easily. The He's been spinning munitions on the flares on the Pounder might be regretting that here. The placements under attack. The commanders are coming back in, but there's a lot of troops down here. Don't think they're going to be able to win this fight. Buying some time though. Heavy mortar barrage coming in as well. Bit of body blocking. Gets the kill because of it. Unfortunate. Or next. Go for the kill on the D crew pack. The packs pushing in. They run right into the commandos. No repairs on that bow force, so it's low. It's dropping frag bombs here. Some commanders doesn't have the braces to get through this. 
It's a 17 pounder falls. Let's keep getting decrewed up here, but keep getting recruits. So there's Oss trooping for days. Churchill, meanwhile, making some plays. Section dead. AT guns continuously decrew, but Churchill can't win the head to head against the Panther, but it looks like next maybe being a little bit too scared gives the Churchill all the space it needs and it kills off both the decrewed AT. It's gonna take an engine damage now anyway, so it didn't manage to avoid engine damage and allowed this Churchill just to run a muck back here, knocks out a pyro and base the mortars barraging the base. So we're in a bit of trouble. Not an Austrian in there, but somehow they're not in cover a lot of them. Some decent hits. Oh boy. Churchill also took engine damage and a fresh panther swooping in now. Looking for the kill on it. We ought to get it too. It looks like nothing coming in for Serene Smile to counter this. He's dropped a smoke though. And this gun faced the wrong direction here. He's, he's got the uh, good attack rounds going. Austrian dead to the mortars in the middle. Still got a machine gun up here. Panther decided to back away for repairs. I thought he might stay in here and try to kill off the mortar pit. Maybe with both of us, but playing very safe. You don't really have to worry about Serene Smile. Probably just going to come in with another Churchill. So the Panther should be able to get away from that uh, alive, even from the amount of health he had. It's really the rotation from AZXC you'd have to look for. Panther's coming down. Double Panthers, in fact, they've had enough of this mortar pit. Finally going to try and take it down. It's a mine down here. Does have pyros coming in. They can probably repair while killing this. And they're sneaking in. Well, look at that decrew time. And the Stug G's are having a bit of trouble. I mean, Stuggies. Having a bit of trouble actually just landing damage on the continuously moving squads. Sometimes they're not the most reliable in that department. That's where you can get the machine gun upgrade on them. With 500 munitions and uh... Looks like a chip away there. Probably some more to cover forces the packs back. So this is finally going to be the end of the mortar pit. The brace wears off. The healthy panther. Taking it down. But in the meantime, Patrick in some major trouble. Comp's looking for the kill here and gets it. Shoot a little bit too late with his blinding shot. Strip G goes down. The now they're going for the kill on the Beaufort's. I mean, Serene Small's army, after all of those emplacement losses, are... Uh, it's very, very weak. 36 population. It does have a Churchill in the build now, but doesn't have any anti-tank to shut down these Panthers. So the Churchill will kind of be cannon fodder. Might need to upgrade some uh, Piats on some of these engineers, maybe. To help shut down the Panthers. Set the uh, anti infantry loiter shot down quite quickly. I think by the Bofors in the center. Points left for the Axis, you heard. But they're uh, dropping the artillery in the north to prevent the capture. Oh. The enemy is taking our territory. Briefly stunned there. The Panther's going in. Lloyd's is coming in though as well. Shoot shot on one of the Panthers, it's slow. 
to mobilize briefly. Playing to do big damage. The Vet 3 Panther in major trouble. I think the other one should be able to survive, but AZXC in pursuit. Decides to play it safe. He's dead to the strip during all this, though. Yeah, not very good frontal armor positioning of those Panthers there. They're a bit reckless diving that deep, going up for both of us as well. But it feels like the uh, allies have had really good munitions control, right? Because it seems like they've had so many uh, offense usage usages to this point. All out brawl for the middle. Really good rate of fire in that Vet 3 Shuggy, by the way. It almost looks like it's got a bunker buster barrage going the whole time now. Do manage to cap in the north, though, finally. Oh, nasty base howitzer. Ouch. Oh, Pies go down to the commandos on retreat as well. They're sneaking out the back for Serene Smile again. A lot of craters here. Let this come back though, for some more weight. Panzer IV now triggers a mine. 29 points left for the Axis. They've got to be feeling desperate. They do have another sector artillery activation possible. What a problem this AC has been all game long though, right? 26 kills, probably resulted in like three vehicle deaths as well with its tread shot largely contributing, so Max is definitely feeling sad they didn't manage to kill it. And here is the crocodile for good measure, brings AZXC right up to the population limit, can't reinforce. We're looking to close the show here for the last 19 points. T guns out the back in major trouble. Sepper's taking them down. 15 points slow. The clock has stopped. There's nothing really capping in the middle for the allies. Artillery is coming down from Patrick again though. For spec the croc. Oh, is he coming back in? Still got another 20 seconds or so. He's got to be careful. Gotta be careful with the comet as well, because if shells are trying to land on the uh, crocodile at the front, Churchill I and mean, then the comet behind it will end up taking a lot of shots. Oh, comet goes down. The artillery is about to wear off though. Either way, unnecessary risk here from AZXC. And this is going in for the croc kill now. The smoke kind of helps. But only slowed things down. 16 points left now. The capture point is being overrun. But the uh, Axis are in there for the cap. Grenadier tried to go down to the bottom, but the Churchill Enemy had other ideas. Sports. Why are the Axis capping? Okay, here we go. Austria finally getting into the middle. Austria can smoke. Maybe a decent idea. Churchill's all they find that sniper finally. And he did a good job, 55 minutes alive. That's very impressive. Really good. Enemy threatening a capture point. And there we go. GG. Well, you don't see that too often. Some uh, excellent wipes behind enemy lines with the commandos, like four or so squad wipes really set next back and then setting up like almost a base pin scenario here with all the emplacements just pounding away. The Axis, though, they did a pretty good job holding the north and contesting the middle, so definitely slowed the drain down a lot. But yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure about Patrick's build. Like, like maybe what... 
yeah, the Stuggies, the Shuggies, the Mass AT guns just didn't seem to handle them that well. You've got to be really good with your unit positioning if you're using so many unturreted, hard to respond units, you know, which I don't think was the case with Patrick. Maybe you need to get some more mines down as well. Could have been a decent shout. But yeah, the uh, allies just uh, getting the job done. Eventually, some good attacks. Get a preservation from them. Largely. <laughs> Loiter's being big and uh, some pretty good pins. I mean, uh, pretty good pushes. Knocking out quite a few team weapons. Assisting in the success. And of course, we've got that forward glider action as well. From both of the Brit players helping them maintain that forward pressure. But yeah, maybe some of the tank plays from Nick also not so good. Could have been a bit cleaner, and uh, I think the worth losses as well really set him back a long way. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like or can be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling instalment. Goodbye and good luck.